What's up, YouTube? Um, I'm going to try and clear up some of the issues on the 1.1.4 jailbreak that some of you have encountered using iPod Touch Master's uh, method as well as the Xiphone method. So, um, the first thing that you gotta do is, uh, don't mind the stupid background on the laptop, it's my sister's laptop, not mine. So first thing you gotta do, take your iPod Touch and plug it in. Hold on. Okay. And I'll turn it on. By the way, this method does work for all iPods, 16 gig and 32 gig, unlike iPod Touchmasters, who he falsely said worked with all of them. Now here's my iPod. It's already jailbroken 1.1.4. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to restore it. And hold on, iTunes is yelling at me. Okay. So this is what you're going to do. So you plug in your iPod. You come over here. And you're going to the little eject button. Just click on that. Now come back over to your iPod. And... I'm going to have to put my camera down, sort of, for this. Get you a better view. Okay, you're going to hold down the home button. And I accidentally just pushed something in. Hold on. Okay. You're going to hold down the home button and the power button. At the same time, just keep holding them. It's going to say slide to power off. Just keep holding it. Your screen's going to disappear. And once the Apple logo comes back on, which is going to happen in a second, Okay, once the Apple comes on, you let go of the power switch, keep holding the home button. Until, just keep holding the home button. Okay, and you'll get this screen on your iPod. Go back over to the laptop. iTunes is going to say, uh, iTunes is detecting the iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes. So just hit OK, and then click on Restore and hit restore and update. Now, when you finally get to this video, 1.1.4 might not be the latest firmware. So if you hit restore and update, it's going to like update you to beyond 1.1.4. So when that becomes the case, I'm going to put a link in the description of the video for the 1.1.4 firmware and probably post another video of how to restore just 1.1.4 and not also update. So this is going to go through a bunch of stuff and do things. iPod's gonna get Apple a little swirly icon. And I'm going to turn this off while it does all that. Okay, once it finishes, this message is gonna pull up in iTunes and just wait for it to disappear. Your iPod's going to show the Apple logo, it's gonna give you this screen again. Just keep waiting. iTunes is gonna take your iPod. And voila, you're on the side to a mock screen. Go back over to iTunes. Okay, now, so we have all this junk. Now, unlike in iPod Touch Masters, we actually, we're not going to exit out of iTunes. You want to click Setup as New iPod. Alright, and then hit Continue. Okay, now, unclick Automatically Sync Songs. And photos might be checked for you, it's not for me. Just make sure that your iPod's not going to sync anything. Now name it something completely random and strange, something that no other iPods that have been synced to this computer have ever been named. Name mine Oatmeal. Okay, Oatmeal. And then hit Done. And it's going to say Syncing, and then it's going to stop because it's not supposed to sync. Now you can come back over to your iPod and just select one more. And voila, fully bland the Apple way 1.1.4. It's very fine, because I know you guys like to be all skeptical about the world. It is 1.1.4. I don't know if you can see it. Probably can't, but uh, there it is, 1.1.4. You can probably make out the fuzzies. Sorry, I've got a really stupid crud camera. Speaking of, my battery is actually really low, so at some point, it might just like shut down, at which point I'll just pick up probably at some later point in the video.
So, sorry if that happens. Okay, so now that you got it set up, you're going to go to this website. I'm going to give you the link in the description of the video. And it's I plus, uh, if I could type, okay, there it is, I plus Pones, P W N S dot com. Again, I'll have the link in the description of the video. You click it, go to the site, and wait, because my computer's really slow. And just keep waiting. And there we go. Okay, now up on the top, you can see the downloads button. Click on that. Click. Click it load. <sighs> this is pretty awfully slow. Okay, there we go. Now here, there's going to be two sections here. It's going to say jailbreak activate unlock for Mac. If you scroll down a little bit, jailbreak activate unlock for Windows. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to do the Windows op section, obviously. If you're on Mac, go to the Mac. And just download the latest one for it. It will be closest to the top. So I click it, and I wait once more. <sighs> so annoying. Okay, there we go. And this is a 31.7 megabyte file. It's pretty darn gigantic. So I'm going to turn this off and let it download. Okay, so once that's done, go back to uh, your desktop or wherever it is that you saved it to. Mine auto saves to my desktop. You should see iLiberty setup or whatever. Now make sure iTunes is pulled up and your iPod is still in there. Don't eject it or anything. Okay, now double click. Just hit run or whatever pops up. Something different might pop up on XP. Just let it do its thing. And we wait. And this will pull up on Vista. Again, I don't believe it does on XP. You just do whatever you need to do until this gets here. And then you hit next. And next. And next. And I like desktop icons. So I'm going to click check that. Hit next. And hit install. And it's not that big of a thing, so it shouldn't take too long. Or it could take a long time. I don't know. My computer's been really weird all of a sudden. It's normally not this bad. It's actually normally pretty darn fast, but. Okay. And it's going to say the checkbox is going to be in there for launch I liberties. So just hit finish. Yes. You would love to. Okay. Hit allow. And you're going to get this window. And I'm going to. It's not going to help me maximize. Okay. I go over your iPod, which mine just went to sleep, so make sure it's not sleeping. Okay. So just put it aside. Go back in. Now you're going to click. You're going to put two check marks. Sorry, that's my baby sister. You're going to put a check in jailbreak. And then down at the bottom, you're going to put a check in setup installer. And then just click on go for it. And it'll do a bunch of things. Okay, so it's going to pull up. And it's going to say, please take the following steps first disconnect device from computer. So, okay. disconnect and reconnect. And then, once that's done. Okay, I'll just plug it back in. iTunes is going to pop up again. Just minimize it again. And hit OK. Okay, now don't touch your mouse or your keyboard or your iPod during this process. Okay, iTunes is going to pull up and yell at you, saying that's in restore mode. A bunch of junk is going to flash by on your iPod. And more junk. Remember, don't touch anything. Don't touch your iPod, don't touch your mouse, don't touch your keyboard. I know it's very tempting to minimize iTunes so that you can see what's going on in the iLiberty program. Don't do it. Please. I don't want to have you guys, like, yell at me. Oh, if I screwed up my iPod. It's your stupidity, not mine.